Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how you can make a audio oscillator or a tone generator very simply using a few components. The main component which I am going to use is called a DIAC and here it is. It's a very small device, a semiconductor device mainly used for switching other high power devices called thyristor. But here I am using this as a part of a oscillator circuit. So this diac and one capacitor and two resistor forms the audio oscillator or more commonly known as the tone generator. And to hear the tone, I am going to use a very cheap uh, speaker that is called piezo speaker. I am going to use a diac and few more components to make the tone generator. Uh, to hear the sound, I am using a PSO speaker. A diac looks like a semiconductor diode, but its characteristics are very different from that of a rectifier diode. If we increase the voltage across it, initially the current will be very low in nanoampere or microampere range when the voltage reaches a certain value suddenly uh, the current goes very high the voltage is called breakover voltage another important feature we need to know to protect the device there is the peak on state current which is 2 ampere uh, for the diag i used uh, we can easily determine the characteristics uh, of a diag using a variable power supply 0 to 35 volt and we have to connect a resistor to protect the device it could be one kilo ohm. Uh, initially at the low voltage uh, there will be very little current and whenever if we measure the voltage across the diac we can see whenever the breakover voltage is reached suddenly uh, the current goes high and the voltage goes down and uh, the current is only limited by the resistor connected in series uh, that is one kilo uh, as a capacitor is also needed to make the oscillator let us look at the response of an rc circuit uh, as shown here uh, when the switch is closed initially the voltage across the capacitor vc is zero and uh, capacitor starts to receive charge its voltage vc starts to increase uh, and it increases exponentially initially the voltage increases fast and as it reaches closer to uh, closer to this uh, supply voltage the rate slows down and this behavior is expressed by this equation now if we add a diac across the capacitor what happens it should be mentioned that the supply voltage must be higher than that of the breakover voltage of the diac when the capacitor voltage reaches the breakover voltage of the diac the diac conducts and the capacitor voltage goes down to uh, the on state conduction voltage that is the vf the beauty of this circuit is it does not stop here. The capacitor charge uh, starts to charge up to the higher voltage level and it reaches the breakover voltage and then goes down. It continues uh, and we get our oscillation uh, like this way. We can calculate the oscillation frequency using this equation. As we increase the supply voltage, the frequency also goes higher and higher. We can hear the sound by connecting the PSO speaker across the capacitor. Uh, this is the practical circuit diagram with some values. The 15 ohm resistor uh, is used to limit the current below 2 amp so that the diac does not get damaged. The photo of the components are shown here. Uh, this is the photo of the complete circuit 1k resistor then 15 ohm resistor then diac and the 0.1 microfarad capacitor 
and across the capacitor the piezoelectric speaker is connected uh, the oscilloscope waveform is shown here Uh, the waveform of the oscilloscope is plotted here. This plot shows the two voltage levels for the oscillation. The lower one is the on state voltage VF around 15 volt and the top is the breakover voltage or VBO which is around 34 volt. Lower voltage diacs are also available and with a lower voltage diac you don't need higher supply voltage. Uh, but those are not so common and much more expensive than the diac that I used. The, di uh, the diac that I used is very common and cheap. There are three ways we can change the frequency of oscillation. Uh, the first one is the supply voltage. Second is the changing the capacitor value and uh, the third is the changing the resistor values. This shows the part, uh, the one kilo resistor, the capacitor and the PSA speaker. So now the circuit will be connected to the power supply. I used a zero to 40 volt power supply with this circuit. connected and I'm increasing the voltage you'll hear the sound at some point yeah and as I start increasing the voltage frequency also goes up you can hear the pitch Now uh, I connected a oscilloscope probe across the speaker and you can see the waveform on the scope. You can see the waveform and uh, the, as the pitch goes higher the waveform also changes. <laughs> 